Hi guys, I'm Shweta and I'm Anvisha and we're here today to talk about the most impactful and the most important entertainment news points of 2017. So 2017 wasn't really a great year for Bollywood films but there were a few films which did groundbreaking business overseas. Amir Khan's Dangal dethroned Bahubali as the highest grossing film of the year, of all time actually and uh, it was it was quite the big news of 2017 because Dangal was just a few lakhs away from crossing the 2000 crore yeah. mark. One of our reviewers, Anna Vettika, reviewed Dangal for us and she also reviewed Bahubali but she got massively trolled for her Bahubali review because she spoke about the closeted con conservatism and uh, she also pointed out the bad acting in the film. Overseas, the 2017 Oscar goof up was definitely the highlight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this time, uh, the envelopes got exchanged and Warren Beatty actually uh, mistakenly announced La La Land as the, as best, the best film picture. instead yeah. of um, Moonlight. First Post did a piece on how Casey Affleck, Ben Affleck's brother, who's been accused of sexual misconduct, won the Oscar for Best Actor for yeah. Manchester by the Sea. So Pradeep Menon from First Post wrote this uh, article about how that evoked the that again uh, started the art versus the artist debate and whether one should keep art separate and do not uh, bring in the artist's uh, personal life or other aspects of the artist into his art. Uh, moving a little more into 2017, we also have uh, the case with Dilip, the Malayalam actor and him being embroiled in a, in, in a very publicized uh, case of assault and harassment and kidnapping of a fellow Malayalam actress. The case is still in court at the moment but it kind of blew up a whole you know sort of uh, narrative within the Malayalam film industry about how power hungry sort of uh, male superstars kind of control the whole industry. Um, a really beautiful piece that we did at First Post actually is one of our political analysts T.S. Sudhir Publicists of the Leap and the media, the local media actually, um, kind of tried to, to do like a Salmanification mm -hmm. of the Leap, in, by which he means that there was a lot of positive press about him after the case. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a lot of news about how he has a big golden heart and how, um, you know, he, he kind of is doing a lot of public deeds, a lot of charity. Another really huge case broke in Hollywood and it will also turn out to be one of possibly one of the biggest news to come out of the entertainment industry across the world and it all started with Harvey Weinstein uh, very very big names um, came out and spoke about how Harvey Weinstein had uh, allegedly sexually harassed them and the number of women who have come out and spoken about Weinstein is now almost close to 100 so this kind of sparked off a bit of a chain reaction and uh, a bit of a you know uh, pan opening of a Pandora's box actually. Mm -hmm. After Weinstein, there were also allegations made against Kevin Spacey, Dustin Hoffman, among other actors. And one of the most interesting articles that we published on First Post this year is uh, by one of our writers, Karishma Opadhyay, who spoke about how um, the Weinstein factor is also prevalent in Bollywood. Uh, she spoke about how power structures and harassment and mental trauma is also extremely prevalent in Bollywood. It's just that no one is speaking about it right now. Moving on to the brighter side of the year that has gone by, Netflix was definitely the key player in the entertainment industry and streaming services have now become a huge entity <coughs> altogether and Netflix primarily controls streaming globally. 2017 saw a lot of uh, new shows coming up on Netflix like Glow, Mind Hunter, American Vandal. One of our journalists, Anshu Lal, went to Singapore and reported what Netflix has in store for everyone in 2018. From new shows to the numbers to uh, collaborations, Anshu wrote an extensive piece on the things that we could look forward to as Netflix fan in the coming year. And one of the biggest, most topical and most controversial news points of this year has to be the release of Sanjay Leela Bansali's film Padmavati. There were multiple news reports uh, of how Bansali was allegedly planning to bring Rani Padmini and Alauddin Khilji in a scene together in a song, maybe some sort of dream sequence. And um, eventually Bansali actually went on to make a video 
about how none of this is in the film. Um, but none of that worked because what ended up happening is uh, a big, big controversy around the release with the Karni Sena or the Rajput community. Uh, one of the articles that really stood out for me personally was um, a piece that politician Milindiora wrote about how this is not a precedent that we should be setting for the creative and artistic community in India. So these were the highlights of the year that has gone by 2017 and in 2018 we hope for lesser controversies and better films. <laughs>